About a year back, I got a message from one of our viewers named Ryan that said if we ever happened to be in Denver, he could show us around. I've always had images in my mind of it being a hiker's paradise, but for whatever reason, I had never been. Now, I was going to be in town visiting family, so I reached out to Ryan and we arranged to meet in the Indian Peaks area for a hike. Our plan was to start at the Hesse Trailhead and hike into Jasper Lake. Then, on the way back, Ryan would continue back to the trailhead and I would continue north to spend the night and explore other trails the next day. So, early on a Saturday, we met at the stop for the shuttle that would take us to the actual trailhead. Smoke covered the landscape as we drove in, and we would later learn that that day Denver had the worst air quality of any major city in the world. Nevertheless, the shuttle arrived at Hesse Trailhead, and we headed out on the trail. Okay, so this is Ryan and he found our videos by watching the Japan videos. Is that right? Okay. And then he lives out here and he was like, let's go hiking. And now we're gonna go hiking. Let's do it. <laughs> okay, so for today, we're gonna try to get to at least Jasper Lake. And if we can get to Devil's Thumb Lake, we'll go there too. There's two different routes up here. We're just gonna see which one to take and then we'll see what's best as we go. It really makes you wonder the story behind cars like this. Who, why, and how? How mainly? I don't understand how they got it back here. It's wild to think about. The people who drove it and left it here never thought that it was going to end up looking like this, yeah. right? But it's also like a really cool aesthetic. Yeah, yeah. Some nice bullet holes in here. It wants us to go up this way. Yeah, the sign says Jasper Lake and Devil's Thumb this way, but you can get there from either one, right? You can, yeah. It might be a little bit longer if we take a left. Yeah, let's go right then. Looks like everybody else is going left, so we'll, we'll zag when everybody's zigging. Has Andrew's botany rubbed off on you at all? Um, that's probably a wrestle up, if any of the botany has rubbed off on you. That'd be my guess. It's beautiful. It was actually an Amanita mushroom. When you first moved here, how was the elevation change for hiking? Did you know, to get used to? I definitely noticed it the first time around, but I started running and cycling as soon as I got here, and I think that really helped. I'm definitely feeling it a little bit right now. Just like more winded than usual. Yeah. Like, I feel pretty good. But... And I still feel it, like hiking in uh, the higher elevation areas. Yeah. Yeah, it's great hiking here in the summer, but you come out here in September, October, and all of this is yellow. Oh. Beautiful. The weather's perfect. The wildflowers look pretty good. See anything edible? Uh, <laughs> we need Andrew here. I was pretty sure that I would like this place, but already I'm like, mm, I'm gonna be coming back here frequently. <laughs>
Jasper to the right? Yeah, same with Devils. Devils oh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. You want to have a quick, quick break? Let's do it. Yeah. What type of cheese is this? Uh, so this is Pavino. Pavino? Pavino, some Cabot Cheddar, which is um, probably the best one here. And then uh, some Bella Vitano, which has like a really rich, like fruity taste to it. That is fantastic, wow. So uh, Bella Vitano uh, makes a lot of semi-soft cheeses. Okay. Super flavorful. Use like balsamic. This one's like a very like berry flavor to it. Oh, it does. Yeah. Man, that is great. Mm. Yeah, I do love Whole Foods cheese section. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and anytime cheese. you go there, you can find something great. Mm, man. That's some flavorful meat right there. <laughs> mm. You should mention your brother's YouTube channel. <clears throat> yeah, my brother has a um, YouTube channel called Continue. Play retro games. I'm gonna check it out. <laughs> yeah, that's great. We've done an hour and 58 minutes of hiking, 3.62 miles now. So far, not too bad, like a little bit of uphill like right now, but beautiful weather. Sun's not too bad because of the haze also. I'm actually surprised the weather's really clear. Usually in the afternoons, you should get thunderstorms, but you're clear for the next few days. Yeah, I was looking at that, I was really excited. Yeah, this place is incredible. I can see why the trail is so popular that they actually need a shuttle. Incredible. It's not very crowded though, which is great. Oh yeah. You carried a cast iron pan for somebody before? Yeah, would, uh, for myself. Oh, for yourself? I would carry a 10 inch cast iron just because I wanted that awesome dinner experience. <laughs> so what did you um, cook with it? Bacon. Uh, <laughs> and then like marinated chicken and potatoes. Oh God. Like it take like a Ziploc bag and just have it marinate the entire time. Oh man. Yeah. You yeah. can't beat that. No, you can't. <laughs> I brought peanut butter sandwiches, granola, and I got one dehydrated meal, which is a pad thai. So I figure at least the pad thai will keep me somewhat oh, yeah. satisfied. So we've been going uphill the entire time. It's been uh, two hours, 40 minutes, 4.71 miles, and it hasn't been too rough so far. And at least you'll have downhill the entire way back. So yeah, very enjoyable so far. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> It's about par for the course for the types of trails you can do here as far as beauty goes. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is, yeah. Even with the smoke, I'm like, wow. <laughs> yeah, we will 100% have to bring the other guys back here and they will definitely appreciate it. <laughs> That junction back there is eventually where we're gonna split up. Once we get back from the lake, Ryan will keep going and I'll take the other path up there and then to parts unknown. Okay, so we saw this little pond right here and we thought, is this the lake? But no, no, <laughs> it's not even marked on the map, so we still got a little bit more to go. Oh, to be a body of water and not even be on the map. <laughs>
Wow. Man. Yeah, it's kind of funny. I was reading reviews of the trail before I got here. And it's kind of hard to gauge those because people are reviewing this trail based on other trails in the area. Yep. I'm like, well, I'm sure even a three out here is probably like a 10 anywhere else. <laughs> yeah, difficulty can be a, a difficult on all trails as well. You have no idea who it's coming from. Yeah. There's only three difficulties. Well, there's only three on that? I think it's like easy, moderate, hard. Oh, huh. Okay, so before we head back, we're gonna just circle around the lake here, check it out, see what else there is over here. Jasper Lake, 10 out of 10. <laughs> okay, new plan, we're actually gonna turn around. The rest of the lake's probably amazing, there's probably more stuff, but everything's amazing here, and it's already about two o'clock, We've hiked over six miles. I want to make sure I've got enough juice left to actually get to a campsite tonight. And then uh, Ryan's actually got a big bike ride tonight <laughs> at 8.30. <laughs> well, you have some time to, to rest up, yeah. get a meal in. Yeah, I've got a meal, head back out. Cool. Up here, way there. Yeah, this way. Good hiking with you. Predator handshake. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, it's great. Hiking. Yeah, we'll be back. You guys will see him again for sure. Awesome. Nice meeting all of you. <laughs> all right, see you, man. See ya. So, it looks like my trail is just gonna kind of hug the side of the mountain here. I'll have some elevation, but not too much. Speaking of elevation, I can definitely feel it. So I am prepared for tonight to kind of feel the altitude. And we'll see how I feel in the morning, but if I need to bail out, my campsite should be really close to the trailhead where I'm exiting anyway. I've got a little less than six hours of daylight left, and I've got at least 2.5 miles to hike. For now, it's time for some solo hiking. Ryan, fantastic meeting you, fantastic hiking with you. We will meet again. I will bring the other guys back, and it's gonna be good times. Wow, there's big mushrooms here. So we've done around seven and a half miles. Man, if I can keep it under the 12 mark, I think I'll still be alive <laughs> by tonight. Yeah, it's too bad we couldn't get all the way to Double Slum Lake, but keeping in mind how much I have left to hike, this was definitely the right choice. And as uphill as this is, I'm also getting the distinct sense that I'm gonna be the only person on this trail. I don't think this is a very heavily trafficked intersection. always amazes me no matter how many places I've been every place I go to manages to be unique in some way and also amazing in some way we haven't talked about it yet but all of this haze is just from wildfires probably way out west just drifting over here makes it kind of deceptive too because it feels like the Sun's not that strong but you definitely get sunburned out here 
Oh! All right, slowly and steadily, we'll get there. Third of a mile since we split up. Let's keep going. <laughs> Got to pep talks myself. We just hit 11,000 feet. I'm crossing my fingers that I won't get altitude sickness tonight, but I'm also not holding out hope that I won't because already I am very winded. <laughs> when I did Mount Whitney, I think we were about at the same elevation. I don't remember any, how many miles we hiked, but it's gonna be a long day today. It's almost three o'clock. I should be done before six if I'm lucky, but yeah, we'll see, we'll see. We'll play it by ear. I am beginning to see why this trail is not very well traveled. I've done 0.9 miles in 40 minutes. I am trudging. It is a really good thing I don't have that much left to do today. Weather's pretty good though. I gotta just rest here for a while though. Look at this, man. We're on the side of a mountain right now. Perfectly manicured lawn. <laughs> Who's mowing it? I'm struggling. <laughs> headed over that mountain. I think I can see the trail over here and we're gonna go around it. I don't know how much more uphill I can take. <laughs> I have been trudging at this speed. It's been a brutally slow pace since me and Ryan split up. <laughs> oh yeah. That's the trail, all right. I think that was probably a marmot. That thing was running across the whole field. <laughs> wow, what a landscape, man. Absolutely stunning. Oh man, he's just chilling out on the rock. He must be getting some sun. Yo, Bert. Yo, Bert. Wow, I'm on level ground again. It's like a whole different world. Uphill at this altitude versus just even flat at this altitude, totally different, totally different. I feel alive again. That is a heck of a view, man. So, some good news. Very good news. So I'm about 90% certain that from where I'm at to a little ways up, like maybe half a mile, I'm in the backpacking zone that I have a permit for. And it looks like down there, there's gonna be some perfectly campable spots. But if not, we can make a campsite down there, no problem. Whew. So right now, I'm at 11,430 feet elevation. This is Mount Arapaho, and that is Old Baldy. 
I don't know how tall those are, but they gotta be over 14,000 feet. I've done one mountain that's over 14,000 feet. It was Mount Whitney. Let me tell you, those are no joke. <laughs> they look as intimidating as they actually are. Doesn't even look like there's a way up. Okay, let's go down, find a campsite. Have a great night, here we go. So I just need to be 100 feet from any stream or any trail, and I can't go too much farther. That area is looking pretty good. Maybe up there, over here is looking not bad. Okay, I'm gonna do a little scouting, and I'll report back in once I find something good. All right, I think we have found our winner right there. If we can get through those shrubs, that's definitely a winner. It's right in there. It's a little bit rough to get through, but I think I might be able to manage. Yo, bear. Yeah, it looks like there's already a path here too. Yo, bear. 29. Look what we got here. Wow. It never ceases to amaze me, man. You always seem to find the perfect campsite at just the right time. It's almost as if everyone has similar abilities and likes the same type of campsites. Not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, God. So since we split up, I did two hours and seven minutes, 2.46 miles. Unbelievably slow pace. I'm surprised I made it this far, to be honest. 9.9 .9 miles total today. Whew. I am beat. It's 4.30 in the afternoon. We're getting to sleep early today, that's for sure. Oh, man. Well, I certainly already knew this, but I can doubly confirm, altitude sucks. My head is definitely starting to hurt. No full on altitude sickness, at least, just yet. But when I was on Whitney, it came on in the middle of the night, so I am preparing myself for that. Okay, so it's like a nice long rest in the tent, feeling a little better. I might cook my dinner tonight, but I might just eat some sandwiches. I'll tell you one thing, man, it is cold. It's hard to tell, but I think that there was a stretcher underneath that helicopter, so that might have been a rescue. Fortunately, no rescue needed here. I'm actually feeling better by the minute. I'm just gonna keep relaxing here. Might eat dinner a little later, might not. I don't know. I'm not really that hungry. Probably force myself to eat a little bit just in case. Oh, oh man. That's probably just about all she wrote for me. It is kind of weird how strangely inhospitable parts of the planet can be. As a human, when I'm at home, at a nice low elevation, I have water and food, no sun bearing down on me. Oh yeah, this is a nice, nice planet. You can go up on the mountains. It's hot, it's cold, it's windy, it's sunny. My head hurts from the altitude. <laughs> Here's hoping I feel okay over the night. See you in the morning.
feeling pretty good this morning. Just like a hint of a headache, wanting to come out, but it's not quite there. First stop of the day will be Diamond Lake. Wow, what a view to wake up to, man. So I decided to forego my water filter this time to save on some weight. <clears throat> and I figured since it's just me, I can boil my water. And I also brought some little water purification tablets. I've tested these and I can't remember how it tastes. But if I can get away with it, I'm not gonna use these and I'm just gonna boil. But I will say, the water filter's not that much extra weight, so I may just bring it next time, but we'll see how the boiling goes. Woo! This is literally an hour outside of the city. People who live here, very lucky. <laughs> So I'm not 100% certain, but I think that that's Mount Jasper. And if it's not Mount Jasper, it could be Mount Neva. Those are both 12,800-ish feet. So I'm supposed to be picked up at six, but my GPS can give them a signal to pick me up earlier. I feel pretty good, so I feel like I could do a little more. Yeah, let's keep going, get to Diamond Lake, then decide. Yo, what? It's like a, almost a road here. Okay, came from over here. This is Diamond Lake. And this is where I'm going eventually. Well, let's go check out the lake. Wow. I can't believe this even exists. God, dude.
Okay, so I think there is a lake that's just past this hill here. And I also see some waterfalls over there. So maybe there's a trail there. I think I'm gonna go explore that. Then I'll head towards the trailhead. Well, I don't think you could ask for a more perfect day. This is unbelievable. So this trail should take us to another lake. I don't know if this lake has a name, but let's go check it out. At this elevation, it's not so bad when you're on flat ground or going downhill, but as soon as I start going uphill, my body is just not having it. It's like, why? Why? Tell them that is human nature. Why? This uphill right here is already enough to get me totally winded. Ah, I definitely was not from the mountains. That much is for sure. uphills have definitely not let up. The lake is at least 0.8 miles in and probably half as much more. So I'm guessing like 1.5 miles in. Honestly, by the time I get to this lake and then back, it'll be time to head to the trailhead to get picked up, at least at the pace I'm going, which is glacial. filled with absolutely amazing views. This might be the most beautiful place yet. This might be the most beautiful place I've ever been. These are the first people I've seen all day on this particular trail. I've basically had the trails completely to myself except for the lake. Man, this place, I don't even know what this is. This is just a tiny little lake. This is beautiful. Wow, that snow looks so high earlier. We're like at 11,500 feet now. I can't imagine this is going too much higher. I don't think we're going up to there. I think we're just going to the top of the grass. This is quite a trek up, but has been 200% worth it. Why don't we eat lunch at the top? Mm. Ooh. 
300% worth it. <laughs> Well, we actually made it to the snow. See some snow right there with the red stuff in it. I can't remember what that is, it's algae or something. It never ceases to amaze me, man. No matter how high in the mountains you get, you can come up to an area that looks like it's a whole new landscape. Like there could be a whole civilization up here. Wow, check out this rock. It's like it over there too. I'm no geologist, but maybe that has something to do with lava. Ooh. Okay, I don't think much longer now. I don't think we're going over that mountain, so. It must be like right in the crevice, just like the dip there. positive now that one of those is Mount Jasper. There or there. Mount Jasper is 12,871. Doesn't look so daunting now that we're closer, but that would still be a ways up. Pretty sure that's coyote or wolf poop. A lot of hair in it, tapered edge. <laughs> A fine piece of poop. <laughs> I'm not seeing much of a trail, but I think I can just go further down and then follow the water into the lake. And if it starts to look too dicey, we can always turn around. But yeah, let's just kind of beeline through the rocks here. In fact, I see a cairn over there. That's a good sign. Can you imagine if you were the first person to come out here? Man, that would be crazy. I'm probably like the 10,000th person who's come out here and it's still pretty amazing. <laughs> that is kind of a weird thing is, even if others have done it many times over, it's just as fun and just as much of an experience to do it yourself. So far, this is perfectly traversable. Not too sketchy at all. I feel like I'm so close, man. Right over this bump. I will say though, once I can see the lake, that's far enough for me. <laughs> we don't need to go any further than that. It's gotta be so close. This is just like Death Stranding. Only, I don't have any zip lines to get back down. Oh. Yo, snake. Yo, marmot. Yo, bear. There she blows. Woo. It exists. We made it. Wow. Beautiful. I think that's the end of my trip. It's somehow cold and hot and sunny and windy all at the same time. Ooh, absolutely amazing place. Colorado, 10 out of 10. Now for the long, long trek back to the rendezvous.
Okay, this is my exit. Now, looking at the GPS, it looks like there's actually a road that's earlier than the trail that I was gonna take out. So if I can get to this road, and it looks like it's passable, I'm gonna go all the way to the rendezvous point on that road. And that'll save me some mileage and some uphill. Oh man, I hope that's actually there. Whew. Well, let's give it a go. Just talked to another group and they said they don't remember seeing a road. They came from the 4th of July trailhead, which is where I'm going. It doesn't look like it's that much longer if I take the trail, so it's not a big deal, but any shortcut I could take, I will take. It's 2.22 p.m. My rendezvous is gonna be slightly earlier. What a trail, man. What a trail. This is an incredible place. And to think it's just a small fraction. Okay, I think this is that alternate trail. But this is the main trail. I don't know if I wanna risk taking this trail just to try and cut it a little bit shorter, especially since it's only 2.30. Even if I tell them to come pick me up, it's gonna be an hour and a half of wait either way. Okay, let's just finish the trail. We're almost there. Just about there. Oh, I can taste it. Whew. Oh, that's a relief. And that is a relief. Oh man, that feels good. I think they have, they have a bathroom. Hopefully they have water too. I'm almost out. Oh man, it doesn't look like it. Okay, well nothing left to do but send out the pick me up signal. I sent out some GPS signals as I went, so hopefully they know that I'm here and they're on their way. But if not, I'll just wait. Oh, oh. Oh my God, 10.24 miles, seven hours and 14 minutes. Wow, this is... Beautiful, beautiful but brutal. <coughs> my God. Elevation, man, no joke. Okay, I think that'll do it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. We will be back here, I am sure. I don't know when, but sometime we will be back in this area. Colorado is amazing. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash adventure. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.
So I decided to just walk down the road. It's about four miles to where we got on the shuttle. I figure if they're on their way, I can meet them partway, get in the car faster, <laughs> get home faster. <laughs> wow, it's a great walk though. Nice and easy. That's a weird stuff on the side of the road. Beautiful view. So the post hike meal is gonna be Korean barbecue. <coughs> oh my God. I am going to eat all of the Korean barbecue. Every item on the menu. <laughs> so it's Sunday evening and it is not crowded. <laughs> it is one of my favorite feelings though. Being the last person out has kind of a bittersweet feeling to it. I like endings a lot. This is an ending of this video. <laughs> a poor ending. <laughs> Yo. Oops. Ouch. Oh. As they say, why? But man, if you can pay the toll, you can get some sweet rolls. <laughs> Taste the water. <laughs> Sorry. Ah, uh, just gonna rest a bit more <clears throat> and finish the hike. Altitude. Why?